and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Hope Malone. I'm the Big Cheese at Ham and Cheese Events. Today I'm going to show you how to carve a chuck roast for dinner. I've got my chuck roast that I've already prepared. I've allowed it to set for about 10 minutes after removing it from the oven. That's going to let the juices go back inside and really help hold in the flavors. We're going to need to pull it out and I, use, I like to use a cutting board that has a small well in it so that the juices don't run all over my countertop. If you don't have a cutting board with a well, I just recommend putting your cutting board on a small sheet pan or a cookie pan, something with the lip. That's going to save you a lot in the cleanup. So let's remove our pot roast from the pan. It's very juicy. And place it on your cutting board. You want to make sure that the grain is going to be cut across. You never want to cut along the grain, which is where the muscle striations are, because that's going to give you a tough piece of meat. So by cutting across the grain, it's going to allow it to be a smoother and an edible, no, not tough. So we've got our meat, and when you carve it, you want to look and see if you have any fat. Um, carving is a little different than cutting. When you carve, you actually try to remove the fat, and there's usually in a pot roast, right down the very center is a little line of fat. So you can just, if it's tender enough, you should just be able to pull your pot roast apart, and that's going to remove the fat for you and break it up. If there's any big chunks of fat, you just want to cut it or carve it out, and this one actually is very tender and very lean. And then slicing down the center, we'll split it in two. And at that point, then we want to work across the grain. So turning your meat, and you simply make large chunks. My name is Hope Malone. I'm the big cheese at Ham and Cheese Events. And today I've showed you how to carve a chuck roast. 